Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to wire more than one LED into a series circuit. Um, before I showed you guys how to just wire a single LED, I got a big response and a lot of people I was asking me to do a video on showing them how to do how to wire basically more than one LED. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. Um, what you'll need is your LEDs. Make sure you know they're kind of all the same. You, you need a resistor. Um, some your solder gun, some solder, and um, I'm actually going to wire it to a power supply, um, an old computer power supply. They're really cheap and expensive, and it makes a great way to um, power your LEDs, and uh, it's very simple to do. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to wire them all up. Um, I'm not going to show you how to solder. Um, I think there are a lot of other videos on how to do that and stuff, and which is kind of too much time. So I'll just show you basically how to hook all the LEDs up and get them going. So here we go. Okay, so first step, what you want to do is grab your power supply. Uh, first thing you want to do is locate one of these guys. It's called a 4-pin Molex connector. What you want to do is just kind of cut the end off of it. Usually the last one that you see, as I did on this one, I just cut the last one off. And you'll be exposed with your four wires. Um, what I did is, is I taped off the black and the red one because we won't be using those. And uh, the red wire is actually a 5-volt wire. But what we want to use is the yellow 12-volt wire and one of the grounds which is the black wire okay so what you also need to do is locate your 24 pin power uh, motherboard connector which is this big guy right here what you want to do is paper put a paper clip um, in the green and the black wire and what that's going to do is trick the power supply into thinking that it's connected to a motherboard so it will turn on for you so once you do that what you could also do is um, uh, put some electrical tape around this as well. Okay, so next thing what you want to guys do is grab all your LEDs and lay them down on the table or whatever you're working on. And what you want to, what you got to do is figure out which side is positive, which side is negative. So easiest way to tell is the shorter leg on the LED is the negative leg, which would be right there. So negative leg, positive leg. Another way to tell is if you look inside the LED, you can see that the right side of the LED Sorry about that. The right side of the LED is fatter than the left side of the LED. So the right side is the negative side. That's the easiest way to tell. Okay, so what you want to do now is align them all up the same way. So it goes from positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. If you look in all of them, you'll see that the right side of them is the fat side. So you know they're all face you know that they're all the right side. So now what you want to do is actually solder them together. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just trim down the LED legs right now and uh, solder them together and I'll show you what it looks like after I solder them. Okay, once you get it all soldered, it should look something like this. Um, if you're having trouble keeping the LED still when you're soldering, it gets very difficult. What I found the easiest thing to do is just get some scotch tape and flip it upside down and uh, stick the LEDs on there first. And uh, it will help, you, it'll help it keep it stable for you to solder. And so if we take a look at this, You'll notice, um, I'm not sure, yeah. You'll notice all the LEDs are going from, starting with this leg at the end, going po positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. So, um, what you're going to want to do next is solder this onto your power supply. And you're just going to solder the ends with the ends on the power supply. So, I'll go ahead and I'll show you real quick on how to do that. Okay, so something that I forgot to mention was first before we go ahead and uh, solder the engine on, we gotta solder our resistor on here. So uh, what you want to do is take your resistor, um, you can cut it down to make it a lot smaller, and it also doesn't matter which way it goes; it's kind of like reversible. So what you want to do is solder that onto the positive leg on the beginning of your LED series here. So go ahead and do that, and I'll show you after what it looks like after it's done. Okay, so and as you can see here, we got our resistor now on there on the positive leg of the first LED here. And uh, so now what we gotta do is basically we'll just wire it up. Um, all we gotta do is take the uh, the yellow positive 12 volt lead here and the negative lead. It's gotta solder the 12 volt lead there and your negative leg your negative onto the negative leg on your last LED and should be good to go. A um, few things here um, this could be very dangerous especially with the power supply. Um, I recommend you um, leave the power supply off um, when you're soldering or doing any testing 
only when you want to test, you know, to turn it on real quick. Never touch these two together. Um, should, could short out your power supply and even kill you. So, it's part I strongly suggest um, to do this at your own risk. Um, so, just keep in mind as long as you don't touch anything together and unplug the power supply when you're working with it, you should be okay. So, after we're done with this, I'll show you guys what the uh, end result looks like. Okay. So that's where we got it all soldered up. There, what it looks like. Um, one thing I recommend doing is just putting electrical tape around all the uh, exposed wire and uh, LED legs. That'll, that'll prevent it from any shorting out if anything touches that. And uh, yeah, there it goes. Um, hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave comments and rate and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and there you go. One cool thing about the power supply is. You're, you're going to get continuous power and it's from the wall. You could put a ton of LEDs on there. You don't have to worry about any batteries running out. So that's some advantages of using power supply. So that's why I figured I'd use it. And uh, so I hope you guys got something out of this and I hope to see you soon.